Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we'll go ahead and look on HDRI images and we'll kind of explore what they're about, how we can use them, save it and load it. So let's go first and create our scenery and I want to use it just atmosphere physical default for now which is if we're going at atmosphere editor it will be spectral mode. So let's go ahead our camera Let's create around our camera some mountains. So I want to edit object and I'll just like to create peak one. Just very fast create something around our edit object again. Oops, wrong button. Reset peaks. Okay. Let's create a few more. Set peaks. Okay, now we'll take some of them and duplicate it because they will be locating from different angles. Kind of won't see the difference. We'll take one, put on the middle, so it will drop all the way down. Okay, next we'll take our main camera, place it on the middle, unchecked height. and lower like this. Okay, now let's go select all our terrain and we'll just assign any material like gray mountain example. Okay, let's go to atmosphere editor and make it a little bit nicer looking by selecting clouds, add and just add a frontal clouds around. Okay. This is, will be very nice preset and test for us. The one thing when you create HDRI, what you can do, and what is happen HDRI, it's called high dynamic range images. It doesn't save just the colors, it's also in save intensity of the light, light and directions. And best way if you want to go check on Wikipedia or other web service um, websites which provide more detailed information about what it is. Um, one thing what we're looking at HDRI, it is an image environmental image that will provide for us information on the lighting information and color information around the, our subject so we can reuse which is eventually can reduce dramatically speed in your rendering and provide a very realistic look. So to do this we'll go ahead um, render the screen and one thing what I want to do is enable panoramic area and spheric Area. What panoramic do is will have 360 degrees, so it will go all the way around, and spheretic it will go under and below, so it will have it like full coverage of from every angle of our image. Um, couple of things what I want to do, it is decrease resolution uh, by 96 by 480 because it's rendering all around. It will take as much time longer to render from every angle. It's almost like you have the multiple multiple images take at the same time as well you probably want to have a higher quality I'll just go default to final here we're ready let's click on render okay so right here we have our final image couple things before we save it what I want not see it is 360 so it's seamless and right here and right here when you combine save us top and bottom the sleep distortions on the ground it actually will combine very well because imagine this is a single point right here and it's more expand and it's kind of scratching and shrinking around. So this is a 360 degrees HDRI. Well, it's normal image. One thing nice about the Vu, when you start saving the image, you have it options. You have it all information inside. Light, intensity, everything It's right now render. So when we go ahead and click on save our image, Right here we will have options, what type of the image we want to save. Let me go ahead a bit shrink so we can preview. And one of the options, you can have it a high dynamic range. So you don't need to do anything special when you do inside the view. All what you need, just select this type. Let's go have it. Tap our name mountains for this and let's save it. Now this image will contain all this information about lighting, intensity and other things. Um, next step, let's go in see how we can reuse. 
um, before we do this notice with this image why it's so useful you can do as environmental image using inside the dust studio poser anything any other application include your 3d max uh, cinema 4d anything because it will provide easy and fast surround environment without you to worry and modify this is a huge time savings if you can when you use these images and you can render the scenery with 360 degrees all, all surround okay let's go ahead right now create new scenery okay we'll go to file new okay we create new and we'll just select the file from physical let's click ok now the next things what I want to do is go to atmosphere atmosphere editor tab and enable environmental mapping now let's go ahead and load it our map and I'll just select map uh, mountains which we did create it you can use it any other HDRI image as well this will prompt you as well if you didn't want to use it automatically set up for image lighting yes you can notice right here we have our image couple things I want to show you first um, if you want to display ground plane for example right below right here or you want your own most time if you render for save time I want to use this one which we render couple things because our image was low resolution we save it you want to go at least um, 1600 or more and for the time saving was used less we'll see more grain probably on the image when we go there so right here as well you can specify if you have a different image if you want a different illumination or different reflection map I'll want to use the same what we have at this point let's click OK and now if we select our camera and we start right it you can notice in preview mode we actually have it our preset it's like 360 we can go all around we can actually go look up in the sky it's where our Sun was located just go ahead other places as well um, if you want it if you think your camera should locate it straight forward for example this way you can go to atmosphere editor and just use your map offset by uh, modifying you and V location for this okay on this case I'll just want to take my camera slightly adjusting moving this way and you notice it doesn't matter how I move my camera left right we don't change position in our UV it's always will be constant against the camera so let's go ahead now create the object we'll just maybe place it right here on the ground we'll take our main camera move about above and just look a little bit down so we can see our object okay I want to see a little bit sky as well and we'll take our sphere and let's set it to the metallic and uh, something reflective so like a mirror type because we can see what is the reflection as well will affecting this we'll go here so final render to screen 640 let's render our image have you noticed how fast it was rendering and it's um, reason if it doesn't matter if we have a very high resolution um, HDRI it will affect the same speed so all what it does it does need to re render all this texture clouds it's already pre-done so if you're using HDRI images you have it done before or save it for your background you will increase a very significant speed of rendering so an example right here we have it our terrain we have an object which import and now locating on our um, terrain on the HDRI image so we put, place it down one thing I want to show you as well let's go look down below let's render one more time you notice right here we actually have it now shadow also projecting based on the lighting we have it before on our terrain we loaded again this is one of the huge benefits to use the HDRI because it saves a lot of time it's a give it us a reflection give it us a lighting lighting position so we even have it full realistic shadows as well by using HDRI images again you can use it this what image you created in any other applications 
to enhance them and speed up. We thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com and as well if you have more interest in how to create your own HDRI images uh, from photos or from uh, videos and other things we have another set of tutorials it's called view effects that's how you can use it with the animation but few tutorials they are also covering how to creating HDRI images in details from your own photos again thank you for watching this tutorial